I just I saw that still missing on the back. I, so. Correct me if I'm wrong. As we were going through this, they had a they had well the company had an architect and an engineer go in and look at the building to make sure that it was structurally sound before they ever started their investment process. Okay. So yeah, I was actually up on the ladder truck with the exactly with the structural um, engineer. Okay. I and I'm usually the one that gets the phone calls. I've not had any phone calls from the neighbors. Okay. Um, there was a water problem from the uh, roof to the neighboring building. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've and I've made it clear to them. Whatever time of day, if there's a problem, call me and I come out. And I've not had. I'm not saying that there hasn't been. I'm just saying I haven't had any. Con I haven't, haven't been contacted by any. Just recently. sort of looking past it. That, you know, with right. the back part missing. It looks like. It looks bad. Yeah. It looks bad. But you know, with the significant rains we had, what three or four inches a couple weekends ago, if there was a problem with water, uh, in the other building, I'm pretty sure Brad would call us by now. Mr. Green, Sean Green, I got find it. It's terrible looking for the city, though. You know, if it was a house, then you guys would give them a fine or do something about that, wouldn't you? And that building's been looking like that for what two and a half years three and a half years is is there something set in stone that it's going to make them fix it yeah. well it we kind of was going through bankruptcy and everything else and the, the, the folks that are doing the project just got uh, ownership of that three weeks ago yeah. four weeks ago four weeks ago that's we didn't want to discourage them from moving forward with the project and finding them. And, and I will say, there actually, I think, has been some work started on that because we went up and dropped some water because they do have a little bit of asbestos that they have to remove out of uh, actually the, the YMCA and the Decatur Apartments. We went up and dropped some 55 gallon drums, or filled some 55 gallon drums of water for them. So their remediation company coming. It's just a small amount, not a big amount. But that has started, but they couldn't do much anything else in there until they have their clean bill on the on the assessments. So it is an eyesore, but the building has been deemed structurally safe. That's why they're moving forward. Correct. I think it's the I believe between the four buildings, the project budget is close to seven million dollars. Yes. So and they will be a for profit entity. And if you've not seen the plans for them, Gary does have some, some hard copy plans. I have some hard copy plans. Uh, you're welcome to stop in and look at them. It's, it, you know, if they do what they're showing on the drawings, it's going to be really nice, really nice builders. Any other items? I have one thing. Gary Herbert, some, this is some good news, though. You know, we've, had, we've got good local financial institutions in Greensburg. Most of our problems, and you can test two groups, <laughs> are banking uh, systems that loan money from out of state. You know, we've had the United States of America foreclose on people, probably for good reason. But they just leave them, do nothing with them. We have to move stuff out of the yard, haul it away, we have to cut the grass, and on and on and on until the end. Sometimes we get some money out, sometimes we don't. But uh, there was a complaint from a neighbor last Friday. Uh, we gathered the information, we dealt with it Monday, and it was Monday or, yeah, Monday, I believe. Uh, it was in the Napoleon State Bank. And they were contacted, they responded immediately. So, uh, and I know the, the Napoleon State Bank is one of many good financial institutions in Greensburg, but they did what people should. They moved on, they got a dumpster there, they're cleaned it up, they're taking care of business. One less problem for us. So that's some good news. Good. Thank you, Mayor. If nothing else, I would uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved.